Hey, we're kicking off 2024 with something special for all you woodworkers out there, whether you're just starting out or you've been crafting for years. We all know woodworking can be quite a pricey hobby, but I'm here to change that. In today's video, I'll show you three unique items that is perfect for any skill level and only requires basic tools. Now these projects aren't only enjoyable to make, but they're really great sellers as well. So let's dive in and start turning your woodworking passion into profit without breaking the bank. Now in order to find items that sell well, I went to Etsy. I'm not saying you have to sell items on there, but it is a nice reference to see what sells and can give you an idea of what price you can charge for these items. In order to find out if an item is actually selling, we're going to use a tool called Everbee. This tool runs on Etsy pages and it analyzes the listings and tells you how many items they have sold along with other valuable information. There'll be a link down in the description that will take you to Everbee's website. On there, you can sign up and they have a hobby plan, which is free. It limits you to a certain amount of searches a month, but it still is very effective. And I think you can find every, all the information you would need just using the hobby plan. Now, one thing I wanna say is Please do not copy these items exactly that I'm about to show you. People design these, they came up with these ideas. They're great ideas. We don't want to just do exact copies. I encourage you just to use them for inspiration. And the main reason I'm showing them to you is to just show you that they do produce money and give you an idea that maybe you can run with. Now, the first item we're going to look at is a book stand. You could also call it a bookmark in a way because it's going to hold your place in the book. Wherever you stop reading, you set the book down on it and it'll save your place. And it serves as just a nice little thing you can have by your bedside and a nightstand on your desk that when you want to stop reading your book, you just set it down on this book stand and it'll keep your place. It also has a little storage area underneath that you could put reading glasses in. I know if you're like my wife, she loses her reading glasses all the time. Uh, sometimes they're on her head and she forgets they're on there. So sorry, honey, but uh, I had to mention that. Now this item is really simple to build and you can actually make it just using cutoffs from other projects that you've made in the past. It only requires three pieces of wood and those would all be one by eights and they're roughly six and one sixteenth inch long. Now all you have to do is cut a 60 degree angle on each end of the boards and then attach them with like glues and nails. That's all you need to do to make this. Now I've found this item on Etsy. It's being sold for $33.37 right now. According to Everbee, they estimate this person selling 33 units a month. That comes to $1,100 in sales. Even if you're buying the one by eights, your profit margin on an item like this has to be very high. The second item we're going to look at are these wall sconce vases. Each of these items only requires a 1x6 12 inches long, a glass vase, a pipe strap, which you're going to want to probably hit with some spray paint, and a couple screws. Now I looked up the cost of materials for this and I looked on Menard's website because it's easy to find prices for their lumber on their site. Sometimes it's a little bit harder to find on like Lowe's website, but a one by six, eight foot long at Menard's is only $7 and 39 cents. So that's less than a dollar a foot. Now I found a similar vase to the one that's shown in this listing on Hobby Lobby's website that is currently a dollar 99. I think that's actually 50% off this week. If you're familiar with Hobby Lobby, they have 50% off different categories each week. So you might want to catch it on a sale week, but a dollar 99 for the vase, the pipe straps I found on Amazon, $10 for a 30 pack. So if you add all that up, it only comes to roughly $3 per item made here. Now this Etsy seller is selling them and packs a two for $50, $49.97 to be exact. Now, according to Everbee, they estimate that they are selling roughly 80 of these pairs every month. That comes to $4,000 in sales. Even if you're providing free shipping, a seller should be able to keep more than half of the revenue as profit. So that's a pretty good item, fairly simple to make. You really would only need 
a miter saw or a table saw. You could even probably cut these with a handsaw, to be honest. So that, and you have to be able to put the screws in. That's all you really need. Very beginner level, very simple. And like I said, you can use scrap wood to make these. The last item we're gonna look at is an epoxy charcuterie tray. Now I've made beach themed ones in the past and I actually have a video that shows you how to make them. I put the video up here so you can catch that one here in a little bit. Uh, but I can confirm that these items do sell well. Now the one I found on Etsy has more of an epoxy river uh, kind of look to it. All these trays really require is a couple pieces of wood, some epoxy, and then just cabinet drawer poles. For the wood, you don't even need live edge pieces of wood if you want to. You could take a straight edge piece of wood and use a jigsaw or a scroll saw or a bandsaw and cut uh, what would look like a live edge on the edge of it. Once you fill epoxy between, you're never going to know if it was live edge or not. So it serves the same purpose, gives you the same look without having to go find live edge, which sometimes can be difficult, especially in a thinner piece like a three quarter inch thick, which is probably what you're going to want to use to make these trays. Now this person is selling them for $86 for a small tray that's roughly seven inches wide and only 13 inches long. So it's a really small tray. I can't imagine that you, he sells that many of those. They probably sell some of their larger trays, which they have two other options, but the largest is 11 by 22 for $175. Now, according to Everbee, they're selling 43 items a month off of this listing. We do not know how many of each one they're selling. We just know that they're selling roughly 43 of them. If we just estimate that they're selling these for an average of $100 per sale, um, that would probably be, I would think, on the low side maybe because I would guess they're selling more of the medium and large size than they are the small. However, let's just assume 100 just for making it easy to calculate. That if they're selling the 43 items that Everbee says they are every month, then that's $4,300 in revenue that they're bringing in off of this one item. Now I can tell you that the epoxy is one of the more expensive parts of this. Uh, the epoxy I use is about $60 a gallon and you would need roughly $8 in epoxy to make one of those smaller trays. But the other materials really shouldn't cost you that much. I would think you can be under $20 uh, in materials on one of these. So even if you throw in free shipping, you still have probably at least a 50% profit margin on an item such as this. And they're a lot of fun to make. So there you have it. These projects demonstrate potential for some nice profits, many of which can be crafted just out of scrap wood or cut off so you aren't sure what to use for you know saving that one piece for something down the road. Well, this might be one of the things you could make and you could make a little bit of money to help fund your hobby. Now, while I can't promise you guaranteed results, I did want to provide you a way that you could earn a little bit of money back from enjoying your hobby and craft. So this could be a great way to support your hobby financially. And as you hone your skills and discover new projects that you're passionate about, you may just turn this hobby into a nice little profitable side hustle. Hey, thanks for tuning in and check out these videos here beside me for more information on how to make cool projects and just more shop class fun.